welcome back to Lucky Paradox. Okay, it is the evening of Thursday, June 11th, and we've got a date with Layla. I know she wanted to go over to her grandpa's grave or something, so we're going to accompany her and see what happens. Do you want to visit your grandpa's tomb now? Were you serious? Of course. Let's go right now. Right behind you. I don't know where the Argleton Cemetery is. You follow Layla down a rocky road, feel the smell of the pines and a gentle breeze on your back. I need a break. Are you tired? I didn't know how long this would be. And I've been feeling a little weird. I can't breathe. You're boring. Let's take a rest. And her hair is blowing in the breeze. I didn't imagine it would be this far. And climbing a hill. Well, you didn't ask. Besides, we can only go this route and by walking. I'm very tired. You're in really bad shape. I'll be good in a moment. Yeah. What was your grandfather's name? Emerson Gallagher. He was Argleton's engineer. Do you admire him that much? Yes, I'd like to be as good as he was. I remember years ago, when I was young, I wore a braid. He said I looked like a cowgirl from Toy Story 2. So he gave me these boots. But they didn't fit because I was too small at the time. Even the yellow scarf. In winter, he always wore a yellow scarf. You're a fangirl. Yeah. Ready to go? All right. Come on. What? I feel a strong pain in my back. What's wrong, Rook? Um, what are these? Oh, there must be... Sparkles. I, I saw these on another screen, but there's little sparkly things. I think it's just motes of dust or something. What's wrong, Rook? Nothing. You're weirder than usual. Don't worry. I'm with you right now. You look pale. Rook. Oh, goodness. Yeah, see, it's, I don't know, something floating around in the air. Oh my, where, are we back in her room? Uh, what happened? You passed out. Looks like the walk was too much for me. Don't play dumb. I know that's not the problem. Don't lie to me. Mm. Rook? I don't know. I brought you all the way home on my back. Now you owe me an explanation. I swear I have no idea. At least try to say something believable. I received a gunshot wound to the spine some time ago. What? Bad business, nothing important. Why didn't you tell me? You never asked. How long ago was that? I don't remember exactly. I was in a coma for two months. What did the doctors tell you? Nothing. Tell me! When I woke up, I was connected to a lot of machines. I found Anton's letter by the bed and a folder with my diagnosis. I took what I had and left that place. Don't tell me you escaped. Yes. Are you dumb? You could have important complications. A wound like that isn't a joke. I didn't want Anton sneaking in again. All because of that fucking dwarf. It wasn't his fault. I decided to escape. We'll go see a doctor. Something bad can happen to you if you don't get 
diagnosed. We'll take the first bus tomorrow. The nearest hospital is six hours from Argleton. That's too much time wasted. Doesn't matter. What will happen if I'm hospitalized? I don't have any money to waste on a silly thing like that. I'm taking you. I can't leave Prim alone in charge of the berries. I'm not going to let you put your health at risk just because you can't leave the dwarf sister. Just until Anton comes back. After that, I'll see a doctor. Mm. Do you promise? Uh, be honest or lie? Um, okay, we'll be honest. I don't know what each... Uh, Alright, whatever. We'll be honest. I must think about it. There's nothing to think about. I want to ask you a favor. Don't say a word about this to Prim. I wasn't going to do it. I owe you a good massage. It must have been hard to carry me back up the road. I'll get going. Are you leaving? Yes, it's getting dark. I'll go with you. I don't want you to be alone in these conditions. I feel better now. But don't worry. Take care. You return to the berries at a slow pace, thinking about what Layla said. Wow, okay, so that was weird. I freaking passed out, and she carried me all the way back. So, but on the upside, uh, I do owe her a massage, and that should turn interesting. But I think before we proceed any further, I'm just going to say thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.